Good evening ladies and gents, welcome to another video brought to you by Total Control Traders. Let's get right into it, we're going to keep it a short video today and not a whole lot going on in the market aside from maybe a bear break. Now let's take a look at this. This upper trend line we have to redraw, the lower trend line we have to redraw as well. Looking at this upper trend line now, there's multiple rejections, a little bit of a support from back here, and then multiple rejections again and again over here. Now short term wise, we're looking at this uh, 0.5 rejection yesterday or the day before, I can't really remember now. But uh, I, was, I was pointing out that this upper trend line in our chat room and the 0.5 as well. And we saw a rejection based on I think it was news coming out again and the market is just so 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 sensitive to news right now so it's a in my opinion it's not exactly a great environment to be trading in just because there's so many factors that can seem to be affecting the market now when we zoom into the hourly and look at this upper trend line reject another one a little bit of a fake out but multiple wicks lots of upper wicks another two rejections before an actual breakdown was that yeah early today Right at 6 o'clock, it started breaking down. And for now, you know, you can say that we have lost that 4 hour lower trend line. There's a little bit of a lower wicks forming. 4 hour lower trend line has been lost. There is a hourly bear flag forming right now as well. So overnight could see some fireworks. Uh, hourly is already reaching over Seoul. So I don't think it'll go down all that far. So that brings me to the, uh, to think, okay, so maybe there, well, not maybe, most likely there's another way to draw this lower trend line because upper trend line we've seen perfect rejections and generally you want to see decent areas for rejection. So looking at this, you know, there is another way that you, we could redraw this lower trend line. Uh, I don't know if I want to delete this one yet. Just because, you know, it's very clear that it broke under lots of upper wicks rejecting from that previous 4 hour lower trend line. So this is still a very notable trend line, so we'll keep it there for now. But uh, just to show you guys, there is another way of redrawing this 4 hour. You could use a channel instead, going from body to body over here. Uh, which would bring it to roughly about here. And then going from wick, or going to the wick down here, so that would be the area. You know, this would be the area, because we have seen, you know, if you're drawing one single trend line, there's a... Uh, Break down, fake out, break down, fake out again. And this is the point, the second point we use, so it doesn't really count. And now there's potential for another breakdown fake out. But regardless, you know, to be just as if you were to use support resistance, it's better to use key zones. If you were to use trend lines, it may be better to use trend zones. But generally trend lines do present pretty on on spot rejections or support um, aside from this case because in, in previous you know in previous of this trend line you've already seen breakdown fake outs twice meaning that you could consider maybe using a uh, key zone instead and the reason why i say that is i've tried multiple multiple ways to draw this trend line the the easiest or the best suitable one is i still see it over here you know there's a uh, support, very clear support over here twice. And then another twice of clear, clear on spot of that trend line bounce. So we'll take a look at this, you know, let's see how it goes. But if this zone is lost, right, that zone is lost, we'll be looking down at 42.22 first. And then we will be looking down if it keeps going. It's already already oversold again, so I don't think it would be a one straight shot down. Uh, it, and then from there, if at 42.22 is lost, we'll be looking at 4K, the 4K that we're we've been talking about. The 0.5 of this whole move since September of 2020, plus a key zone, plus a one-to-one -one extension target considering if this is A, B, and I'm coming down for a C, it will be that 4K area for an amazing, amazing entry. So take it, for, take it as an opportunity. If you're in bold positions, I am in a little bit of bold positions myself. If you're in bold positions, I will, I will use this as a stop. Just because this is not too, too clear. You don't want to get faked out. Uh, overnight, we should see what exactly the direction is. Today's candle is a little bit scary, but looking at that volume, no, it's nothing like before anymore. Whereas like, very very low bull volume decreasing and then all of a sudden boom increasing decent bear volume but today no we gotta see tomorrow 
We, we gotta see tomorrow. If it's increasing, that's a big concern. Daily. We could very well bounce from right below 42.22 for that daily bull divergence. But that, if that's lost, you know, all hell break loose. I'm still looking at 4k. Alright, so that's it for the market. Uh, we're not gonna do a deep dive. We are gonna do a recap of our weekly pick from last week. Uh, do it at the same time as they are the hottest sticker. Hey. <laughs> I love it when the, when, when the weekly weekend uh, stock picks work out. Uh, surprisingly, there's so much less views because it's not big names. It's not the ones that people Google. It's not Google. It's not Amazon. It's not Apple. Uh, like the week that we picked before. This one is a lot lesser known, I think, and lesser, less populated. Not as popul popular as well. Uh, first one is going to be gold. So let's take a look at gold. Check this out. Remember that bowl break we called out on... Was it Monday? No, Friday. Yeah, so this weekend's last weekend's video. Uh, Friday, bowl break. Came back. Or, sorry, continuation. The next day. And then the day after was a little bit of a warning sign. A little bit of a red flag. It's... Uh, I would call this somewhat of a bearish engulfing. So a little bit of a warning sign. The volume is not exactly there. Next day got immediately bought up. And then follow through today. And going into tomorrow already as well. Gold, this is a big breakout as well that we mentioned before. This has been a year and a half. Over a year and a half of sideways, sideways action. Ever since the beginning over here. It got one pop. And then from there, if you look at the beginning of the wedge, then it'll be still a year and... <laughs> yeah, so it would still be a year and a half, about August. Uh, upper trend line, lower trend line. Key break, follow through. The only problem that I have with this is the GP is not that far away. The GP is at 19.23. So we should see some. Because there's multiple bottoms here, one big pop over here. I would imagine that we would see some sort of reaction around GP. It might just be daily bull flag from there and then continuation. But that's one thing I don't like about the trade. But with this year and some sideways consolidation, we should see decent follow through. Already blasted through that one to one extension target. Right, so that's first one. Second one is Ubixi, which we're gonna take a look at VIX. Now look at where the VIX bounced from. Okay, never mind. I was thinking it bounced from the day 8. It lost it yesterday. Man, what a choppy market. This is one of the hardest markets to trade. I'll be honest. You know, every now and then, like, uh, what is it, a week ago? I was like, on par with all my calls. Okay, here it is. Here's what's, what I'm looking at. Why I'm going bullish. Why I'm going reverse trend. Man, with all these news, it is so hard. Look at this. So shooting star, and then follow through, and then l huge upper wick losing that 88, and then boom, recovery. What is this? So going forward, this is the money line. I've seen three bounces from here already. VIX, keep an eye on it. If that war news does come out to be, uh, does what, it, what is it, pan out, which of course I don't hope it does. Uh, but in the case that it does, we could see a pop in VIX. Now, volatility. Next one is AMC. It's not exactly strong. I'll be honest, you know, AMC is not exactly like, you know, it's it's going on the bullish run, the very clear bullish run, like gold, or even a little bit of a chop like uh, UVIX. AMC actually might be a little bit better than VIX, to be honest, because if you look at this, there is a lower trend line that's not touching it, okay? And we are holding that daily 8, even though the market is pulling back significantly, we are seeing increasing bull volume as well with somewhat... Hmm, not too, too big of a bear volume, I would say. Yeah, so AMC is still on watch for that pop. Right now is somewhat of a daily bull flag. I wouldn't really call it that. It's more so just a grind along that daily 8. So AMC is still actually doing this decent. All right, so that's it for today's top or hottest tickers. Um, let's cover some requested tickers. Let's take a look at shop. Now, the problem with shop right now, market pullback, huge gap down and sell off on earnings. Um, I do have, you know, looking at this, 
we lost GP on earnings, continue selling off. There was a money line that I was looking at where we've seen multiple bounces before. One, two, breakdown fake out, back test, and then able to follow through. Now this is exactly what I'm looking at for potential of this breakdown. I need to see that lack of follow through. Okay, today was the breakdown. Tomorrow, let's see that that sideways action. The reason why I'm anticipating that is uh, daily is daily RSI is at 29. There's, there's good potential. If we're to bounce from here, this is going to be a daily bull divergence. The other thing we'll look at this is four hours. Bear volume is not done yet. Ooh, we're going to need to see that bull come in on the four hours. Hourly increasing bear volume is not so good because it's grinding down. Hardy's oversold. 30 minutes seems to be the guide right now. So sell off, bounce with the market a little bit. And then sold off with the market. So it really needs the market's help. At the end of the day, we saw some, some bow volume coming in. It's over. It's near oversold on every single time frame, but it's just grinding down. So looking at this chart, you know, hmm, there's good opportunity. To be honest with that. There is, where's that 0.786? It's already lost the GP. 0.786 would be looking at 617 and not too far down below. Uh, does that line up with anything? You could say there's support here. It's very minor. It's draw a zone actually. So there is re rejection. Never really back tested, but it'll be somewhere around here that I back tested. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so this would be the zone. Does not really line up with the 0.786. Yeah. The reason why I'm okay with the first entry over here, uh, the, uh, on the shorter time frames, it does look like a little bit more downside to come. Maybe at 617, maybe at the key zone around. Uh, what is this? What is that key zone? Five. Ooh. 54888, 595. Whether it's gonna be around those areas, you know, the percentage-wise, that is still a little bit quite decent, actually. Downside-wise, that'd be about 10%. And the reason why I'm okay with the first entry over here, of course, you know, make sure your sizing is correct, is when we look at this reverse bounce. Let's say we bounce from here. Just the worst case scenario, or or maybe best case, depending on you've written or not. Uh, Points, point three eight two. That bounce alone is a sixty four percent bounce. And shop, we know it's not a growth name. Or is it not? Let's take take a look at market cap. I actually never looked at it. Eighty three billion. What's Amazon? One point five seven trillion. Okay, maybe so. It is quite relatively small, I guess. In comparison, eighty three billion. Hmm. Now my change, my my view might be a little bit changed on, on on this one, maybe a little bit more bearish. Regardless, when we look at this chart on shop, uh, the short term wise upper trend line that must break is one of these two. One of these two, one is of course this one is the most ideal to break, all the way from the top. We haven't even come close to it yet, and then this is the most recent potentially increasing momentum selling. See if we can draw that a little bit better. Not really. Eh? Okay. Anyways, so the short term wise, want to see a break of this, but ultimately we want to see a break of this. That's shop. Next one is Nvidia. Earnings yesterday gap down a little bit, of, gap down sell off with a little bit of a lower wick. Okay, this is no no longer a right shoulder, because this is still one single move up. We need to see that clear right shoulder. This is one single move up. We need to see that high, uh, daily lower low. These are still all daily higher lows. Daily lower low, higher low, higher low, higher low again. So if we were to see that daily lower low, maybe around GP. Actually, it would make sense at GP. So let's draw so that the, uh, the shoulder is actually at the GP. So if we were to bounce from the GP, that would be a potential inverse head and shoulders. Yeah. 
So short term wise, looking a little bit bearish, especially on this earnings. Tomorrow we're gonna need to see this follow through uh, and how decent of that follow through is. Whether it's decreasing bear volume or increasing. If it's increasing, then there's a, a, a lot of concern. This trend line, let's uh, delete this upper trend line now. That's a little bit less useful. Mm, I'll keep it there for now. Uh, resistance, bounce, 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 another major bounce. So this trend line, ideally you want to see it hold. Even if that's lost, the money line is still down below. But ideally you want to see this. So if it drags out another 2-3 days coming down to GP, this will make sense. Lower, lower low, right shoulder, yeah. Alright, so that's NVIDIA. Next one is IBRX. Immunity Bio. There's no trend change on this one. There's an upper trend line break. So when we look at this, uh, depending on how you draw the trend line, it'd be somewhere around there. Where you can see rejection, multiple rejections, and you can actually, okay, slightly close over. I thought I didn't. Uh, of course, second point, another rejection. And then we zoom forward, another couple rejections here. Breakout, fake out. So there's probably a better way to draw this upper trend line. The, the, the thing I don't like about it is uh, this is a sideways break. You know, we've seen a lot of sideways break lately. It's, you know, the most recent that I remember, the most memorable is probably Tesla. Sideways break, no follow through. And looking at this, this is a lower low. Is it all time low? No, it's not. Okay. So this is a lower low. 799. We need to break the $8. There is no trend change right now. We need to break that 801. Uh, I was going to say $8, but looking at this, this is 801. Ideally, we want to break that 801 and then see one day, of, at least one day of follow through before it actually pulls back. So what you want to see from here, this is a chopstick top, so it's a little bit worrying. Volume is not coming in yet. Earnings is coming up on March 2nd. So if this gets gets to see follow through, it could very well negate a potential of a daily bull flag. Not a whole lot of room to pull back. Chopstick top, generally if it starts pulling back, if it starts seeing that follow through, you should see decent follow through and, and you might lose that daily bull flag. So watch the volume tomorrow. If it's increasing, it could be a very decent short actually. If you're in today, that's a very nice area to be a short. Top fish area right here. Right here. There we go. 779. Look at this. The bodies, nothing closed under. So real support. The bodies, nothing closed over. Real resistance. So this is uh, 779, 780 is that short term. Very nice bear entry chopstick tops. Woo. All right, tomorrow follow through, that'd be good. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hey, don't forget, thumbs up, please. And our free trial membership is available. 20 members limited. Make sure to check it out. It's gonna be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.